Hello and welcome to today's Bring Back Paper and today as promised is my paper chase haul that I got recently when I went up to a paper chase outlet store in Cheshire Oaks. I know I mentioned it over on Instagram, a lot of you wanted to see what I got so it only seems right that I show you now. I was actually quite restrained for me but well you can be the judge of it, you can be the judge of it. So the first thing that I got was a couple of postcards which were both half price just down to 35p each i love these i like paper chase postcards they're really sweet not sure what i'll use them for yet i use them sometimes for bookmarks but it might be that they end up going as little gifts in some snail mail i then got a couple of packs of stickers again look i mean these were just 25p Again, I don't know what I'm using them for. Again, they might go to Snammer. They might, I might give them to my daughter. I might use them to decorate bits and bobs myself. I'm not sure yet, but they were sweet. They caught my eye. I then got a, a magnetic list pad. I find these really useful. I've usually got one of these on the microwave. They're handy for grabbing myself. I am a list person, and my daughter often uses them as well to practice her spellings on each week, which isn't exciting, I know, but it is what it is, and she finds them really useful, so I couldn't resist that one. It's nice and thick, you get quite a lot for that, it's just 2 50 So I bought that. I then bought a notebook. I have no idea what I'm doing with this notebook. If you saw my desk tour or my stationery chest tour, either of those, you will see that I have got a few notebooks. That's not all the notebooks either that I've put on those, but there's quite a few there. And then I've still bought this one. But it was, look, it was nine pound down to three pound. Three pounds. It's really cute. And also, I'm getting, it's furry. Probably not called furry. Yeah, it's felt. It's felt the word for it, but it's furry. I really like that. It's really thick, blank paper inside. As I said, I don't know what I'm using it for yet, but I'll use it, and it's cute, so irresistible. I then found the writing set section. I don't need writing sets. My snail mail tour probably shows you that, but I love writing sets, so I had to buy them. I only bought a couple, which was quite good, I thought. But look, this one's um, from six down to three pounds. 20 sheets, 10 envelopes in that one. Nice and bright and pretty. The envelopes, nice big envelopes, which is handy if I am sending things like stickers and postcards out as well. This is the writing paper here, the design on the back. Stickers, different design envelopes, envelope labels. It's got it all. I needed that. I love that. I'll use that soon. Then I got this one as well which is 30 writing sheets 15 envelopes address letters and stickers and look at it it comes in a really nice box with a little peephole this was 10 pound down to five pounds let's go inside can go inside can you see it's got these lovely little stickers and address labels you can see the different design address labels nice little envelopes writing paper and this one and like the other one is just one blank colour on the back so I'll be able to write on the back of those ones as well as long as I'm using black or something which I write with so that it was just adorable I had I had had my eye on this one actually so the fact that it was just five pound it took me approximately two seconds to decide to buy it and put it in my basket I needed that one. I didn't need it. If you saw the snail mail tour, I didn't need it. But I did need it. So I got that one, which I love. And the last thing that I bought was this scrapbook kit, which was £15 down to £7.50, which I think is really good value. I can see it making a really nice gift. I'm not sure who for. It might even be for my daughter. It might just be for me. I'm not sure yet. But it had got the little tapes in it, look, the die cuts and tags and the, the scrapbook itself, which I thought was brilliant. I featured a guest post from the lovely Vicky over at A Pocket Full of Dandelions a couple of weeks ago on the blog, which you may have seen. Which was something of a beginner's guide, really, to getting into scrapbooking. It's not something I've tried before, 
but it did give me a bit of a flavour for it and a taste for it. So when I saw this, I thought, look, if ever I want to try it, I've now got this. If not, if I don't make time for it, then it's a lovely gift, isn't it? Either way, I had to buy the scrapbook kit. There's a couple of, there's quite a lot of these actually, and there were a couple of different designs as well, which I thought was really sweet. Really nice presents I can see them making, though I doubt this will ever leave the house. So that, oh no, it's not all I bought actually. The other thing that I bought, which I cannot show you unfortunately, was a little zebra key ring, like a little metal one, which was for my daughter. But she's already popped that on her school bag, which is where she is now. So I can't show you that one, but I got that too. And all of this, because I also had um, a few pounds off because I have a treat me card there, obviously, was just under £20, which I think is very reasonable. I mean, look at it all. Piling it all back up. I also think I was quite restrained. That's quite a bit of stuff, but you know. And yes, you might argue I didn't actually need any of it, but hey, it's beautiful though. And it was all a bargain, so there you go. That's what I bought. I also just wanted to show you though, because I bought all of this and we were away because it was my birthday. Because it was my birthday, a good friend of mine also bought me a couple of things from Paper Chase and my husband bought me something from Paper Chase as well as we were in the Manchester flagship Paper Chase which has three floors we were in there for a long time he was really good to he found a seat he also found a cafe with chocolate cake he put up with me having a good look around there and also bought me something at the end of it which I thought was very good of him so I will just show you those if I move my little pile out of the way these are what I got from my friend from Paper Chase for my birthday. A letter writing set. Yeah, you see, I resisted. I only bought two. And then she bought me another. As it's like karma, isn't it? Oh, I was good, so I got another one. Um, these are the sheets, like uh, on the back that you write on, like nice craft paper. The envelopes are like that too, like crafty, crafty. And it also comes with some labels for the envelope as well, some stickers. I love that, it's beautiful. I was really, really pleased with that. So I now have three letter writing sets, as well as all the other letter writing sets. So I was happy with that. And then she bought me, stroke of genius, my book journal. You may have seen I've blogged about a book journal before because well, this very same friend, thank you Kerry, bought me a book journal uh, for my birthday, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And considering how much I read, I never considered keeping a book journal until she did that. And then I haven't, there's not been a book I've read since then that hasn't gone into the journal. I love keeping a book journal now. And I was just about to run out thinking, well, it's okay, I can use one of my notebooks. And she bought me this because she figured it was probably about time that I needed another one. And she was spot on, clever, clever lady. This one's a bit different because it's all alphabetical which my other one's not, it's just I run it in chronological order. It's great, I love keeping a book journal, so I was really pleased with that from Paper Chase. And then my husband, clever, clever man that he is, bought me this blogger's journal, which I hadn't seen in there before, and I am in there a fair bit, so I don't know whether, just because it was the massive, massive store, they had more stuff, or whether I've just missed this, which is entirely possible. But he bought me that, and I also got this pen with it as well. I like a gel pens uniball, so that writes really nicely. I'll use that for this. And in my blogger's journal, it will allow me to, I've got to-do lists in there, got blog schedule pages, blog mission and goal pages, to-dos this week with little don't forgets. Um, I think there's an expense, yeah, there's an income and expenses section as well. New post and ideas sections, project ideas, that type of thing. It's brilliant, I love it. It starts mid-year as well, so that actually starts now from June. I will probably start it in the interest of neatness on the 1st of July, I think. And then I'll have my lovely blogger's journal with my lovely pen. So I love that. I don't know how. Let's have a look. £15 that was. Um, and I love it. Probably once I use that, I will always then need a blogger's journal. Which is quite handy for him because he can just buy me the same present year in, year out then. And I'll be happy. As long as there's a new pen as well. So that's it. That's all my paper chase haul. Quite a bit, actually, now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> 
quite a bit of paid new paper I've had this month. I will no doubt feature it on my blog. I always run Papery Peep on the last Wednesday of every month, uh, where any other blog posts or um, vlogs or Instagram pictures, whatever you want, where you're showing off stationary books, paper, scrapbooking, whatever, I run that every Wednesday. So I will probably talk about this a little bit more um, the last Wednesday of the month. I also had another present which I will show you on the blog the last Wednesday of the month which I adore which is going to be great for my letter writing set. I also ordered loads of books and had some new books. I'll probably do a little video of those soon. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed having a little nosy. Have you seen any of these? Have you been to the outlet store? Love to know what you've been buying. Do let me know in comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.